Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to add a voiceover in Pictory, whether you want it to be AI, upload, or even just use your own. That's what this video is going to be all about. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial for Pictory. There will also be a coupon code there should you want to upgrade in the future. You can get a nice little discount. So I just very quickly put together this script. It doesn't have to be anything special as long as you know how to do the process. So we have three scenes here. And pretty much what you can do is go through and pick out which scenes you want to add your voiceover to. So let's start with scene one and I'll go through all three of them. If we hover over this, you're going to see you can do apply AI voiceover, you can do upload voiceover, or you can do record. So for example, with apply, it's simply just going to be in the audio section. It takes you there and you're going to have your voiceover here. Uh, in case you haven't watched any of my other videos, for some odd reason, I can hear the like voices playing back, but you can't. I haven't been able to figure that out so I've been back and forth with computers but this is where you can go there and just say click on apply and it's going to add it to that specific scene okay the other way of doing it is going here and doing upload voiceover which is just going to take you right here so let's click on this of course, these are some of mine that I created for my other one, which I'll also show you how to do, but maybe you were combining Pictory with another voiceover software. When you save the file, this is where you can add it in, of course. So you can do current scene or entire video. I'll auto sync the voiceover if you wanna do that, of course. But if it's just a small clip, you're probably not gonna be doing that, right? So last but not least, let's just say we have the uh, recording your own voiceover. So this is what I did with all these uploads because when you record them, they save. But nevertheless, I'm gonna click here. So this is if you want to do everything yourself, which I did an example to. Uh, I'll, if I remember, I will put a link deeper in the description where you can see a quick one minute video of me pretty much narrating just some slides with text. But let's click on record voiceover. And all we have to do here, it's funny because I'm recording for you and I would be recording for this, but we're going to click on record. And then what you want to do is just read what's on this specific slide. So allow me to do that very quickly. Welcome to Marketing Island. Okay, and stop. Then of course, what you can do is save apply, but let's just say we want to do apply. Let's click on apply here. Perfect, and I am just going to, let's see. So scene one, that is good to go. You can also listen to it. Like I said, you can't hear it. Welcome to marketing. But you know, that that's what it's going to be. Of course, same thing with scene two. So here we talk about software marketing and anything online business related. So once again, let's say we want to record voiceover. Let's do it very quickly. Here we talk about software, marketing, and anything online business related. Stop, we can do apply. Like it's a very quick process. I know like if you have a ton of slides, it's gonna take a little bit longer, uh, but when you get good at it, you know, it shouldn't take too long. And last but not least, same thing right here. Today's topic is going to be about YouTube and creating videos for your channel. And we can do apply. And just like that, they are all going to be available. Give it some time there. And of course, what you can do is preview if you want to, just to make sure it sounds good. So let's give it a sec. Welcome to Marketing Island. Here we talk about okay, you can't hear that once again, but I am in the background. It does work. And that's pretty much the ways that you can add a voiceover in Pictory. Like I said, you can use one of their AI voiceovers. You can upload your own, maybe if you're using Pictory with another software. And of course, you can just do what I did at the end, where just simply do your own voiceover over each of the slides. And all you're doing is reading the text, which is a pretty easy process. Nevertheless, I hope you got some value out of this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Of course, if you want to check out Pictory, I will have my free trial link down below with a coupon in case you want to upgrade and save some money. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.